Hi, welcome back to Calls KRC. So today we're going to have a look at should you buy the Mavic Air or the Mini 2. The Mavic Air 2 or the Mini 2. This is not a video to see which one's best because obviously this is a better, better drone. It is a much better drone. It's got a lot more going for it. The camera's much better, etc, etc. But as I stand today on DJI site, this is 549 for the Flymore Combo. This is 949 for the Flymore Combo. You're going to get the same thing virtually in both. You're going to get three batteries enough flight time to go for as long as you want you can you've probably got just under an hour and a half flight time on both drones with the three batteries so which one would should you buy so this is quite difficult to answer it depends who you are so if it was me buying one and i could only have one i'd buy this one but i've had numerous camera drones and i've been flying a long time and this one would fulfill my needs more than this would well, this isn't for me. This is for other people coming into it. So if you're coming into it now, this is, I don't think you can, anybody can doubt, the best entry-level drone on the market. There's nothing better than this. Uh, whoever makes one, whoever thinks they can make one better, they don't. This is the best. It's fantastic. It flies superbly well. It's got great flight time. It can handle wind, wind better than the original. It now has a 4K 30 frames per second camera, which looks great. Its stability on the gimbal is better, so when you in turn shots, you don't tend to get some drift on the gimbal, which you did on the first one. Whether that was caused by wind, I don't know, but you certainly did get drift. And if you span fast, you also confuse the sensor. That doesn't seem to happen on this one. It's under 250 grams. This thing weighs, I can't remember, 600 something, top of my head. Don't know, I should have weighed it, maybe, but I haven't. Um, in fact, let's weigh it. On the scale, I'm not sure how well you can see that. But it is 580 grams it's coming in at compared to 245. People commented and said I should have weighed that in my first video to make sure it was 250, but I can guarantee it did. So let's get rid of these off my bench. So now you're left with the dilemma is what do you actually want it for? So, if you want to go flying and taking professional photos and professional shots and trying to capture the best possible video you can, you want this. Simply that. The gimbal and camera on this thing is amazing and this is, for me, the ultimate in drones. I know you've got the Mavic 2 Pro, but that's an expensive model and you've got to do a lot to better that. If you've ever had one or you've got one, you'll know it's not just a point and click. This is very much point and click. So to me, this is what you should buy if that's what you want. If you want to go on holiday, take some pictures, take film your kids when they're playing and just generally do something, which is 90% of the public, then you should buy this. Because £400, a lot of difference to get something that you're probably not even going to notice. At the end of this video, I'll have a couple of minutes video footage from each of these. And they're not flown at the They might not even be flown at the I don't know which videos I'm going to use. It doesn't matter where they're flown. It's a matter of the quality of the video. Look at the grain. Look at... And if it's something that will do for you, if you look at that video and think, wow, that looks great, then that's for you and what it'll do for you. You've got to remember, I do not edit my videos. So what you'll see is raw footage just transferred straight to YouTube. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't colorized it. I haven't adjusted the contrast. I haven't adjusted the dynamic range of the video. I use that for myself if I want to make videos for me. But when I put it on YouTube, there's none of that. So what you're going to see is what is out of the box. So for me, it would be this all day long, but that's for 90% of the people. For the other 10%, then they're going to want this. Or if you can afford it and money's no objects and that's be nice a position for you to be in, then obviously you'd probably go for this one. All in all, so these are the two best drones around at the minute, in my opinion. You've, you, you need to step up the next class to get Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom. I'd prefer this to the Zoom, I honestly do, I think it flies better. And then you've got your next thing up, which is Altelevo categories and stuff like that, the Altelevo 2. But again, you're in a different, totally different ball game, and you've got a different kind of weight restriction. You've got to remember, this is 245 grams with the rule change on the 1st of January. It's going to be quite prevalent, and you do not need to register this drone. So you can get this drone, buy it from whoever you want, Argos, Curry's if you're in the UK, some from American company best buy i'd imagine sell it in america you can just go buy this out of the box and fly it there's nothing to stop you there's nothing you've got to be obviously sensible and, and a bit of regulation but what i mean is you don't have to register that drone you don't have to do anything of that in the uk you don't have to do any of that you can just fly it and that makes a big difference to a lot of people a lot of people don't want to register for various different things 
they just don't want to register so they don't they buy the drone or they don't buy a drone or they buy a toy drone so keep away from toy drones and stick to this this is these are good both decent drones if you're not bothered about registry you're not bothered about the money you're not bothered about any of that then buy this because this is an amazing amazing don't take my word for it take the word of millions of other youtubers or however many people have reviewed this thing and said how good it is because it is fantastic and this is what it is obviously and then I've, people have been saying should i wait for the mini 3 might sound a bit ridiculous but they are moving quickly if you want to wait a year wait a year by all means a mini 3 i don't know what it'll have maybe it'll go 60 frames per second who knows might not even be a mini 3 we don't know, do we? We don't know what's happening with the Mavic Air. Will there be a Mavic Air 3, even though it's not been out that long? What I would say to people is, why wait? If you want the product, just buy it now. And for 90% of the people out there, remember, the point was waiting because this is going to do absolutely everything you need it to do. Even if you own a 4K TV. A lot of people say I own a 1080p t TV, so what's the difference? If you film in 4K and show it on a 1080p TV, it's still going to look great because it's downscaling it to your TV. It's not upscaling them, but it's downscaling it. So you're going to get the, you're going to see the difference anyway. If you're running a 1080p TV and you're just running normal HD, then definitely I'd just go for this. And you've no intention of ever going 4K. These are definitely the definite thing for this. If you want to fly 4K, this is the one you want to you want to buy. If you want 4K, 60 frames a second, super crisp footage, then that's what you want. If you want what 90% of the people want, you want this. So there you have it. DJI, in my opinion, still rule. Even though I have had issues with DJI, which you'll see another video coming up shh, probably after Christmas now. Well, it definitely will be after Christmas. But I've got a video coming up where I tell you some problems I've been having with DJI, and it is quite bad. So I am going to show you. I'm, I'm going to do the video to let you know what they are. Even though I love DJI, so that's about it for me. I'm going to leave you with some video footage. This will be my last video before Christmas, so I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. If you're wondering on the videos down below why you cannot comment anymore, that's because I'm sick of idiots putting foul language on there and whatever else they're doing and just baiting me for an argument and normally I give in. So no more. No more comments. You won't be able to comment. I apologise for the 99.9% .9 of the people that leave me nice comments and just want to chat, but I'm sorry, you can't do that. If you want to chat to me or you're leave me a, uh send me an email on the link that's in my about section but there will be no more comments on videos so once again leaving that have a fantastic christmas i probably will have a video before the new year so i wish you new year happy new year in that one stay safe